Hey everybody, this is Random Black Guy, and today on Tech Taylor, we're gonna be talking about the Crew Rig and why this may be the perfect tech for you. I really want to talk about the 575 as my main focus for this video. However, I'm gonna be talking in general speaking of why the uh, Crew Rig itself would be good for you. Mainly because when you look at buying the 575 versus like some of the other ones around the same size ratio or you know like the plus size uh, model, they're really similar. So it's really hard sometimes to justify paying the extra. 20 bucks for it to get this one however we did because we were able to get it a little bit cheaper and it makes sense to get the one with the bigger reservoir for us if we're going to be using every day and that's something you would probably want to think about i've had a real good experience with the crew rig but mostly it's because it did everything that we wanted to do we really wanted something that was going to be quick to make coffee because me personally i'm lazy and i don't really have time to make those fancier cups of coffee and meaning i'm just not that into coffee to kind of make it myself sometimes and i didn't actually have a coffee maker before coming here to our new place my fiance was a lot different she used to make coffee a lot she liked buying the more simple ones that were like you know 30 bucks just to make it and so this was kind of like a middle ground for us being able to able to make coffee use it for someone who's as lazy as me and it still works for someone or her who isn't as lazy but is on the go a lot so the crew has a lot of good points i mean first you know it's very fast it takes a minute to really brew the coffee after you make one coffee it already heats up the water so you can make another one you could do different sizes from a size four ounce to a size 12 ounce which is particular for to this guy not all the crew rigs actually do from the lower size to the high size and that is such a good thing for us because my fiance likes to have the 12 ounce all the time, nothing short of it. And to me, I'm more of an eight ounce guy. I, I might go to 10 sometimes, but I like to actually finish my coffee and I don't like to have anything left over. So I make the amount that I know I'm gonna finish. And mostly that's always the eight ounce. Another thing about that we liked about it was of course the reservoir that I mentioned earlier. This one is 80 ounces. Um, some of the other ones are roughly around 50 ounces as a small one. And the one that's right under this model is a 70 ounce. The only thing I don't like about it that this one has, or this one doesn't have over the one under it is the fact that the one under it has better colors that you could pick. You could pick the red one that kind of looks like this, kind of go with the kitchen a little bit better. This is the only color you're gonna get for this one, but to us, that wasn't such a big deal, especially for the price that we were able to actually get it at the end of the day. The Crew Egg does a really good job of also making the carrots as well. So you can get the particular carrots from Crew Rig, and it's something simple. You can just put this together. You can tell it how strong you want the coffee, how many cups you actually want to fill the carrots with, and it will just fill automatically. And that's probably in the best thing is the fact that it's accurately filling not only the cups of coffee but the crew rig and that we can use it we do use the care when we have people that come over and stuff just to make more coffee and make it a little bit fair but sometimes you know again when we like to drink a lot of coffee sometimes you feel like it doesn't have enough in there but i think everybody's felt like that a lot of things that people have told me about the crew rig that it was going to be expensive buying the cups and quite frankly these cups hasn't been such a expense hog as people make it out to be especially when there's so many different ways that you can buy them I and mean, you can buy them on amazon well, you can buy you can buy the walmart brands that still work for the k the 2.0 models i mean there's just some other way that you can just get the k cups that work good for you that's not such a big deal to a little bit more money on coffee than you would if you were bought the other one one thing i don't like though and i do have to say this and mention this is that these 2.0 coffee makers don't work with all the k cups and that's weird to say it should work with all the k cups but I have found some that were older coffee models that don't have necessary everything for this machine to recognize it as a K-cup. And sometimes like it's kind of hard when you accidentally buy something and it doesn't work out and stuff. For us, we had a free box that someone gave us and unfortunately it didn't work out. So we didn't get to try the coffee because they didn't want to recognize it. But you know, there are ways of finding out if the coffee does work. Sometimes when you buy the coffee, you can check to see if it works for your model. And so I do suggest that as one of the biggest things that you do have to worry about when you use a crew rig is make sure the K-Cups do work for it. And so far that's probably been the biggest downer about the cake of itself this K machine here is that you buy something whether you buy the cheap one or expensive one but it doesn't work for everything made specifically for it. and that's 
that's weird to kind of grasp in general. That's just my experience with it. I actually had a good experience, mostly because it fit the main thing was, I'm lazy, need to make some coffee. She's not too lazy, but needs coffee faster. It fits those things. You can also time it in case you just want it timed in the morning. Temperature, color set, uh, color settings that you see green here. A lot of different cool features that you have in there, whether you like it or not, but they're in there and they make the value a little bit more expensive. However, does that value mean anything to you personally? Technology could be as amazing as it wants to be, but it has to be able to provide that value for you in order to just paying the price for this, which if you were to try to buy this right now, the price is $159.99. That's $160, that's more than some stuff that you probably wouldn't want to buy with that price. So can you really feel like you can justify this? The main thing is that you want to get critic is the speed and time that you save by making coffee. You can have this at work, you can have it here, but the fact that it only takes so long to cook coffee, you could be brushing your teeth or you know, putting deodorant on or whatever, just the fact that you can just go here and you time it or just go here and manually just put your cup in here. Something nice that you just put in there. Let's say, oh, I just want to have this. Right now, this thing's already kind of ready. So if I wanted my coffee right now, I just go ahead, I put it on the size I want. Again, I'm an eight ounce kind of guy. I'll go ahead and start it. So timing is a really good thing. Let's see how long that. The second thing I do want to mention about why you will probably get the crew rig is the fact that they're big reservoirs. A lot of the cheaper ones don't really have an 80 ounce reservoir. There are probably some, but a lot of them don't or constantly don't have a big reservoir. And that actually makes a difference, especially for me and my fiance. It made a big difference because she likes using the 12. I like using the eight. So we run out faster and getting a small one just wouldn't work out for us too much. It'll basically be like if I just cut myself out, even then she would still have to keep filling this thing to the point where you would need, you know, just more coffee to be, or more water to be dealt with it. And it's, it's a problem. But I also like that the fact that the reservoir is actually removable itself. So I could take it out, I can go ahead and fill it up with more mostly pure water because you really don't want to fill it with tap water get some pure water and put it back on there isn't any hard way to do it and you can also just lift this guy up too if you just want to put it in there like that so that's a good thing with the reservoir another thing with the crew rig that i, that I really did like why you would get it for it is the variety of different k cups there are a ton of k cups you can get for this guy and it makes sense if you really want to be able to use this as much as possible to get those different k-cups and to get cheap ones again the one i just put in there was one from walmart the box itself is five six dollars and you can try a lot of different ones if you're just thinking like that okay i'll buy this five dollar box I'll buy this five dollar box and the k-cup ones are about 10 to 11 but they have more cups in it so that's also something to think about when you're buying it but there's a lot of different coffee makers that make k-cups so you just won't be out of op the last Last point I do want to make about the Keurig is the fact that you can make different beverages with it. Now you can't make soda, but you could definitely use the hot water option that with that comes with it to make other teas. If you really like tea, you just need some hot water and stuff. This will make it instantly because again, after it finishes one cup of coffee, it just makes more hot water to be able to use and doesn't take as long. So if you want tea just as fast as if you want coffee, then you can do that. And also the cup that I did make over here with the cappuccino and that you see it here it's already kind of filled in it's already kind of sweet not much i really have to add for it is this cappuccino right out out of the machine so those are one of my biggest reasons for getting the crew rig there are a lot more they can do with this guy especially you like the lighting especially like this we got this one because it does fit all the needs that we want it gives us the extra reservoir and it gives us even the touch screen which is something i really didn't hit on but it's not so much a big deal but it does help when you want to be able so just quickly do stuff it, it just makes it a lot easier being able to see what you need to do and the fact that it does expense hot water is a really good thing for me those were the things that make it work for me now does it work for you i don't know but you're not gonna know until you try it out yourself or maybe ask somebody who has it these things are all almost in every apartment complex or in some businesses and stuff so you probably have one close to you that you haven't even known about and you could just try it anytime but with that everybody thank you for watching this video if you did like it please subscribe to the channel for more videos like this one and like the video 
and you know it does help out and it does go a long way but besides that hopefully everything that you learned today will help you make a better and more informed decision tomorrow